on welcome to the channel Bharat Jain D365. So today let's try to explore how to post debit note for customer transaction right so generally uh, in d 5 we have a uh, customer invoice that i can post either through sales order or the free text invoice then we can post credit note so i can have two different number sequence one for the invoice and one for the credit note now the customer comes up i want to post a debit note and for debit note i need the system to pick a different number sequence not related to my invoice number sequence so that's what we'll try to explore how to add a number sequence to post debit note in d365 so to begin let's go to accounts receivable setup accounts receivable parameters so here uh, if i go to number sequence we can see something called as free text invoice so this is where the system is going to pick number sequence for invoice and we have free text credit note uh, where the system is going to pick the voucher series from the credit note so how do we post debit note or how do you create a number sequence to assign for debit note so first let's create one number sequence so go to organization administration number sequence click on number sequence click number sequence so let's give a code let's say free text debit note so let me put it here so scope i am going to limit to my legal entity demo but a jnd365 so here uh, i can select whatever format i want to so let's say i want free text debit note and i will keep it six length this is what i want so let me just change this to six I will keep it continuous save so we have created free text debit note number sequence so how do you assign this number sequence to post the transaction at the customer level so let's go back to ar parameters so in the free text invoice you can see this option called group so click on group so once you click on group here i can see uh, i've already created something called as free text debit note uh, if you want to create new just click new so you can give a name whatever name you want let's say free text debit note um, so i want to call that as demo that's my legal entity so then we'll say free text debit note so you create one uh, group here click save so once you save it you can see there are values that's coming up here uh, for chronological number setup so here you can see there is free text invoice so let's going to assign the number sequence which i created previously select this fdn save so now i have an option to either select the actual number sequence which is coming from the free text invoice or I can select this number sequence code FDN where system is going to post debit note. So basically I have two number sequence assigned to free text invoice. So now let's try to post transaction to verify whether system is actually going to pick the number sequence. So to post go to accounts receivable. So you can do the same setup for the sales order invoice also. So if I go to customer invoice here you have an option to group so here you can create for customer invoice so that's when you post your sales order process so even for the sales order process you can have a number sequence code for debit note so you can post a debit note for sales order as well so you can use this setup so right now i'm doing for free text invoice therefore i have selected for free text invoice so let's post one transaction so go to accounts receivable invoice all free text invoice so click new let me select customer once i select the customer account uh, now let's i want to post the invoice so i will go ahead and select the sales account that i want to add here so enter the amount save so let me post and system should pick the fti invoice number so let's post this enable posting and click ok so once the posting is completed now i can see the invoice number which is fti001 which is free text invoice now for the same customer uh, let's say if i want to push credit note obviously i will enter in negative and system is going to pick number sequence from the credit note number sequence here but if i want to push debit note so let's try this now so click new so i'll select the customer now i know i need to post debit note for this so go to header 
So in the header, there is an option called number sequence group. So here users have to manually select the debit node that is FDN, which we created demo free text debit node. So select this. Now let's continue with the transaction. And also if you want to link the original invoice, then you can use the credit invoicing functionality. So you can, you know, kind of select the original invoice and click OK. So, you know, you are connecting the debit node with the actual invoice, which was previously posted. So now let me continue with selecting the main account, add the amount, whatever amount you want to add it, click save. Now let's post. So in this case, my system has to post transaction using FDN number that is free text debit note number. So once it's posted, so if you see your status completed and now if you see in the invoice stage, I can see it has picked FDN, which is free text debit node. So in this way, creating a group number sequence, you can post free text invoice where system is going to pick the invoice number sequence and you can post debit node where system is going to pick debit note number. That's it for today. Thanks everyone.